coming your way with another episode of Waterfront. When you've been blind as long as I have, Captain John, you find other ways to see. Outside here, the harbor's full of sounds. Each to me is an image. Blindness, like every other handicap, has many compensations. Oh, well, Teddy. I know. There's a boat approaching dead ahead. You can see more without your eyes than most of us can with them. I don't complain. Another three years, I'll be able to paint San Pedro in full color. If I can paint. I wish San Pedro was the only thing that had you anchored here. How much longer are you going to wait? Until he comes back. I tell you, for three years, a man has stayed away. Not a man, Captain. My husband. Husband? You were married to him four days, and he ran out. You could get an annulment any time you ask for it. Why don't you try to forget him? I don't want to forget him. What do you really have to remember? New Year's Eve party, infatuation, quick marriage. That's one way of describing it. There's another, a world of blackness. You stand in the middle of it, but you're, you're never a part of it. Suddenly there's a voice, strange and new. Hi, baby, says. Just, hi, baby. Hand touches your arm, hair laughs. You feel his eyes going over you and finding you something. Something very special. And he thought I was pretty. And he loved me. You are very pretty. Let me take the wheel. What I can't understand is why he ever left you. My money. He wasn't angry. He just said, gee, honey, 14 million dollars like a frightened little kid. Never said he was going anywhere or, or anything. He signed on the first freighter to find on the harbor. Haven't heard from him in three years, and you still think he went just around the corner to get a pack of cigarettes. He went out that door, Captain John. Someday he'll return to it. He has to. He loved me. Don't you understand? Yeah, I guess I understand. Better get up in the wheelhouse now. Thanks for the lift, Captain John. I right hear if somebody's looking for a good pilot, I'll recommend you. coming in tomorrow? Yeah, one. We're bringing her in at five o'clock in the morning. Would you ask if there's... If there's a Charles Evans aboard, you'll be the first one to know about it. Thank you, Captain John. So long, Teddy. Bye. by the name of Charles Evans. Evans? Oh, yes, Charles Evans. We do have a man by that name aboard. Yeah, where did you sign him on? Buenos Aires. Uh, can I be of some service to you, Captain? No, uh, just someone waiting for him. Oh, there he is now. 
Thanks a lot. Mr. Evans. Yeah? My name is John Herrick. I'm a friend of your wife's. She's waiting for you. My wife? You forgotten you have one? Uh, is she here? She's aboard a yacht over at the island, California Yacht Anchorage. Yacht? Okay, thanks. Would well, you want to see her? Oh, sure, but... Uh... My tug's right nearby. I suppose I'll run you out. Uh, not right now. Mr. Evans, uh, three years is a long time to keep her waiting. How about it? You see, I, uh, I have some business to take. Okay, I guess my business can wait for a while. Good. Listen to my I have listened for three years, and so has my wife. The youngster's heart is broken. What's that got to do with me? I don't get you. A man meets a girl, tells her she's wonderful, beautiful, marries her. Four days later, he walks out on her. Why? For money, herself? How could she know? Being blind since she was born. Blind? Cheryl Ann, calling Celeste. Hello, Celeste, come in, please. Celeste, Gerald Ann, go ahead. Miss Thayer there? Yes, sir. She's right here. Captain John, any news? Was he on the freighter? Had they heard of him? Could they tell you anything, Captain? Anything? Your husband's here with me. He is? Well, well, let me talk to him. I'm bringing him out. We'll be there in a few minutes. A few minutes? Someone here to see you. Seems to think you're expecting him. Oh, I am, Captain. I am. Chuck? Go ahead, Chuck. What are you waiting for? Chuck? whether I've been dreaming and I've just awakened or, or if I've been awake all along and I'm just starting to dream. We were married, weren't we? You loved me then, didn't you? Didn't you, Chuck? Daddy, how could any man help but love you? It wasn't much of a marriage, was it? Smelly little man who performed the ceremony. You said he looked like Pancho Villa. Remember? I didn't understand a word he was saying. Only that someone said it was all right for us to be together. Was it, Chuck? Is it all right? Have you ever done anything that wasn't all right? Oh, it has to be, darling. I need you so badly. Still afraid of my money? 
Now, you're so rich without it, a few million dollars more or less doesn't make any difference. I can be there? Yeah, sort of. I guess maybe I'm afraid of hurting him. That's past. Chuck, couldn't we get married again? Right here. Right now. Couldn't we start again from the beginning? Get married in a real church. And all the hurt would be gone. There'd be nothing to fear or remember. Couldn't we, Chuck? Honey, it, uh, it's getting sort of chilly out here. I, I'll get you a sweater. Don't you want to? I want to do anything I can to make you happy, but I, I, I don't think we should talk about it now. It's, it's late. I, I ought to get into San Pedro and find myself a room. Aren't you staying here? Well, I... We prepared a stateroom for you. Yeah, I, I know. Don't you think it would be better? It's the guest room, Chuck. Okay. Look, honey, I've been up since before dawn, so... Stateroom C. Your things are laid out. Thanks. you do, Mr. and Mrs. Evans? Well, Captain John, just the man we want to see. Tell him, Chuck. Well, uh, you better tell him, Teddy. Captain, we're going to be married. Well, you're already married. Of course we are, but we're going to get married again. The church, wedding gowns, flowers, everything. I'm for that. Hello, Miss Thayer. How are you? Oh, Lieutenant Walsh. You're invited, too. Invited to what? This is Chuck Evans, my husband. Lieutenant Mike Walsh of the Harbor Police. How are you, Lieutenant? How do you do? Would you excuse us? We have to be getting back to the yacht. He says I'm invited. Invited to what? The wedding. Getting married again. Again? Look at that. Using his eyes just like they were her own. Do you think he's after her money? Money? He's been running away from it for three years. Chuck Evans may have, but that man didn't. It's Chuck Evans? We got some interesting news this morning from the Argentinian consul's office. Chuck Evans died two months ago in Buenos Aires. Died? Then who? That's what we gotta find out. I could. What is it? Why'd you send for me? Is Chuck with you? No, you asked me not to bring him, so I came with Roberts. Good. How about some coffee? No, thanks. Sugar or cream? What is it you have to tell me? Is it about Chuck? Yes. There isn't any Chuck. But there is. He's real. He's on the yacht. No, he isn't. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He isn't back. He's not coming back. He's dead. Dead? Two months ago in Buenos Aires. They didn't know he had a wife. They'd have informed you. I'm sorry I have to tell you this. But I don't understand. Who is... He's not Chuck. He just used Chuck's identification. Who is he? We don't know yet. The police are checking. Tell you, there was no way you could have known. But I did. What? I did. I knew. 
I didn't want to, but I did. I wanted him to be Chuck. He had to be. There had to be a Chuck. I think so. Captain. Please, don't expose him. Don't tell him. Don't let anyone tell him. Not until he tells me. Prisoner on this yacht, everybody's watching me, keeping track of every move I make, and now hiding keys. They're not hidden. We never keep them around. Why don't you just tie me up, put a bell around my neck, and hire a detective to follow me? You can afford one, you Chuck. know. Chuck! Look, I can't play any more games. I've got to get off this island. I want out. Are you going to let me go? Full of guys, real nice guys. I love you. No, you love somebody else, somebody you think is me. I love you. Can you stop saying that? It's not true. You've got to forget about me. I'm no good for you, Teddy. I'm a phony. I, I can't stay here any longer and let you go on believing that I. That I love you. That you love me. Even if I did, I couldn't say it. Teddy, I didn't plan this. I don't want to hurt you. But if I stay here any longer, I'm just going to hurt you more. I don't think I'd care to live without you. I have no reason to. Teddy. I'll get the key. Teddy. I'm not Chuck Evans. I said that. I'm not Chuck Evans. Here? I hear. Chuck died a couple of months ago in Argentina. I, I knew him, but I didn't know he was married. I just knew the guy. I used his identity to get back in the States, because if I used my own, I... I guess you have a right to know the truth. I'm wanted, Teddy. I, I'm a wanted man. I guess that tells the whole story. Fine way for a guy to say I love you. Who are you? Well, the real name doesn't matter much now, does it? Except for the police. Please. Okay, it's Barney Merritt, so what? I love you, Barney. You knew it, didn't you? Merit. It's a nice name, Barney. But what happened to it? Manslaughter. I guess that's what they call it. I, I didn't stick around to find out. What happened? Well, I was in business in San Francisco. Building. I, I went into it as soon as I got out of service. I had a partner. A guy named Higgins. That Mr. Higgins was a crook. He trimmed a lot of real nice people. I found out about it, we had a fight. He hit me, I hit him, he went down, he didn't get up, he... He never got up. So I took off for South America. But you're not a criminal. You haven't done anything wrong. I spent 18 months in a Chinese prison camp in Korea. I'm not gonna be locked up again. If you don't face this thing, it'll be hanging over you the rest of your life. Our lives. Mine, maybe not yours. I do love you, Teddy. I really do. You mean more to me than anything in the world, except one thing, and that's my freedom. But 
But you're not free. You'll well, now, never what be... what about the speedboat? I'm going to. No, Barney, no. Oh, look, darling. Forget what I said. This boat is the wind we're going anywhere. Names don't matter. And if we go far enough, maybe we can use the name Merritt. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we could. Chuck Evans, they would have found out the rest. Darling, it's the only hope we have. Come along, Mary. Barney, I love you. I'll do everything I can to help you. I'll fight with you. I'll fight for you. Barney, I'll wait. Come on, I'll take you back to the California Yacht Anchor. Pretty good to be free, Barney. Yeah. If only I'd known that Higgins had died of a heart attack. I was sure I'd killed him. Seems like you ran away too soon. That's sort of a habit of yours, isn't it? Teddy's waiting there. I see it. You might have spent the rest of your life running if she hadn't put her love for you ahead of everything. It's your move. Pardon me, ma'am, but you look like a real wealthy woman. Think you could spare a guy one of your old yachts for a honeymoon? Oh, Barney! <laughs> oh, Barney! Well, we hope you enjoyed tonight's story, and that you'll be with us next week for another episode of Waterfront. Thank <laughs> you.